Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Adam Loftick from Razor Rock Media. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing AirPlay It, which will let you stream video or audio anywhere. This works on the iPhone and the iPod Touch, and it's actually coming to Android in the near future. So let's look at their website for AirPlayIt.com. Basically, AirPlayIt is a video streaming software, and it will allow you to stream audio so that's sound or video to iPhones, iPads, iPod Touches, and eventually Android devices. So AirPlay it can actually stream 320 different formats, which is really good. This works with Wi-Fi and it works with 3G or even 4G. So basically, you store all of your stuff on your computer and then you use AirPlay it to access these files from your iPhone, iPod Touch, or whatever device you're using. Alright, now to download AirPlay it, you have to one, download the application for your computer, and two, download the actual program on your iPhone or iPod Touch. So I actually have my iPhone here, and I have my iPad here, my iPad 2, and we're going to be doing a double demonstration for both of these i devices. I don't have an Android phone, so we can't really do that. And um, yeah, so let's get started here. We have to download the Windows edition because I'm on a Windows 7 computer. So I'm going to press Windows, and now it's going to say, Where do you want to save this download? And I'm going to save it somewhere convenient, like my desktop. And when it's done, I'm going to open it up. It's right here on my desktop. I'm going to right click, press run as administrator. Now I'm going to choose English, my language. I'm going to click next. If you agree to the license agreement and the copyright notice, click next. Choose where you want to save it. I'm going to choose the default path, which is program files, the company name, and then airplay it. Next, next, next. Create some icons. And the install is very fast. I'm very impressed with the install time. This works on a Windows computer or a Mac. It doesn't matter if you have Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows Vista. There's the icon. Now when it's done, you can press Launch AirPlay It. All right. Now it gave me the home page just for instructions and stuff like that. Now I have it downloaded here and I'm going to need to either register or I'm going to need to log in. Now I'm just going to register later but I already have an account so that's okay. Alright, so here we go. I can X out of this. Now, to play my files on these devices, I'm going, need to, I'm going to need to download it on the device. So now I'm going to go on my iPhone, and I'm going to connect to it using this program that I have. It's very nice, let me tell you. And what is my IP address? You don't know? It's 104. Come on, this is obvious. We're going to connect to that really quickly. All right, now we are here. And where is AirPlay? Do I have it installed? I don't know. I don't think I have it installed, so we're going to download it right now. So there are two ways you can do it. The first way is to download it through the website. So you can go on the website, airplay.com, and then press iPhone app or iPad app, whichever one you have and it'll bring you to this page, iTunes Preview, and then it'll say, do you want to open this in iTunes? Then press OK. Now this will open up iTunes, and it'll bring you straight to the page, and I just press Free App, and then I can download it. And I have a message from my iTunes, and it says, you downloaded an app from your computer, turn on automatic downloads to receive apps on this device without having to sync. That's pretty cool. And um, 
Now I could select automatic downloads here, so I'm going to press apps. But that's a whole different story here, so. Alright. Alright, so now I'm going to download it to my computer by pressing free app. And now it's downloading. And it's already done. So now it'll be on my iPhone. Just to make sure though, let's go on my iPhone and if you need to find it and you don't want to use the website, just go to search, type in AirPlay it. And then find it. Press free, press install, type in your password and then press OK. Now I'm going to put this on its own page. I usually do that before my video starts, but for some reason I was lazy and I waited to the last second to do this. So now we're going to put it on its own page. Okay, now there's a AirPlay on my iPhone and let's set it up. Alright, so as you can see here, it says AirPlay it and permission here. I could set a password and I could choose what folders to share. And there's a video conversation task list. We'll get into that in a little bit. And we could choose the server can be accessed by a web browser. So even another computer can actually pick up your files. So now we're going to choose what files we want to share. For this video demonstration, I chose this folder right here, AirPlay It. And in this folder, I have a couple pictures and a couple videos to share with you guys. So now we're going to delete this because that's not what I want to share. And I want to share this folder right here. So I'm going to take it and I can't drag it in, but that's okay because I'm going to click Add Folder. And I can actually go like this, open it up, click over here, and then just copy and paste this link right into the source folder. And I can't do that, and I don't know why I just said that, but I can still go like that and select it that way. So I pressed um, browse, and then I select the folder I want, and I could just choose, you know, I could say my videos, or my stuff even, or Razor Rock Media, because that's my website and my YouTube channel. Alright, so now we're going to do that and we're going to press whatever, kids, public, for permission, anyone could look at it in my house, I don't care. So I'm going to press apply. So I, I think that applied, right? Yeah? Alright, so add folder successfully. So now let's get this started here. So now I'm going to go on my iPod and my iPhone here. We're going to open up the app. And now it says, please download AirPlay at server. Well, I already did that. So this is a local server, so I'm going to press Add Local Server. And look at that. It automatically detected my computer. So I'm going to press on my computer. And now I'm going to connect to the server. And look at that. Instantly, it connected. And now I have both of the videos that I wanted to share with you guys ready to play. Look at this. I could download it to my phone. I could play it. I could change the settings. This app is truly amazing. I could choose the video quality. I could mute the video. I could choose what size I want the video to play. I could turn off the audio. I could even put on subtitles if I wanted to. Let's play the video and see what happens here. This is the same thing as that. The same thing here. He is getting to the car. The car is unlocked. He is getting in the car. He is closing the car door. He is turning on the car. He is driving. Well, that was the whole video. And you can't really see what's going on on my phone because it's so tiny 
but both of these videos are actually playing from my phone. So the file is on my computer, but I'm playing it on my phone, and that's so great and I did not put any audio in my folder. I don't know what I was thinking putting these pictures in. I don't know why you guys would want to see these pictures because the app does not really, it's not made for pictures. So maybe I can find a song to play with you guys. So I could put it in the folder so I could show you that it works. I mean, I'm sure you could take my word for it that it works, but um, Let's see. I know a really good website that has good music, so. This website right here has great music. So I'm going to, but that's not, it's not about this website, so I'm just gonna click, you know, African, and I'm gonna download the first song I see, just so I can make a good video. So I'm gonna save this song in AirPlay it folder, the one I made, and I'm not going to open it. And now, let's go back to AirPlay it here and shared folders, right? Everything's still there. So now let's see if it picks it up on my phone or not. So I'm going to turn off the video because I'm not playing it anymore. And now I'm going to, can I reload? Let's press this reload button at the top. And look at that. The song is instantly ready to stream right to my phone. This is truly a, a phenomenal app. Alright, so now let's play the song. Is it going to start? Let's find out. Alright, I'm going to get made fun of if I dance, so let's just play it for a couple more seconds. Alright, no more dancing, but as you can see, this song played. So if I have no more room on my iPod, let's say it's an 8 gigabyte iPhone, let's say, from a long time ago, I could put all my music into this folder and then play it all through this app. So it's so nice. Now, let's go over to the iPad and um, show you that this app works on the iPad too. So now I'm going to open up my other connection for my computer. Now, let's go back to my video camera here. My iPad is running on 100, so now I'm going to connect to that. Connect. Okay. And as you can see, it's sideways. That's right. There's nothing I can do about that. I've tried very hard to decide, you know, what can work for this video demonstration. And the truth is, AirPlay does not work sideways for now. So I'm going to open up the app and it's going to be sideways. There's nothing I can do about that. I'm sorry to disappoint you guys. But it's the same thing because it's actually the same exact app. It's not optimized for the iPad yet. And what that means is that this is the iPhone app running on the iPad. So all the features are exactly the same, but the, the size is just a little bit too small. Does this app work any less though? No, it works exactly the same on the iPad. It's perfect, it's phenomenal. Eventually, I would hope that they design an iPad app for this, but until then, we're gonna see right now that it does all the same exact stuff. Right there, a Luftig desktop, I'm gonna press it, and now I'm gonna open it up. And right there, Razor Rock Media, I have my two movies from before, and I have that song. Now we're gonna open up the song, and it's going to play the same exact song. Alright, too embarrassing, so let's turn off the song. And let's go to the video. I have the same options as before. I'm going to press play. And the video actually turns to the side, which is nice. Just facing upside down here, so... Well, the bus usually comes at uh, 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock, and this is 4 .50. So, so this video plays perfectly. It's actually in the dark right here, so that's what's going on there. I'm going to fast forward a little bit. I can't really find a, a video, a part of this video that's filmed during the day, because I filmed this really early in the morning before I got on the bus. So, 
high school? What's going on with that? All right, we're getting on a tangent here. So you get the idea. It works exactly the same on the iPad, and I love it. So let's disconnect, and let's go back to the iPhone. Excuse me. 104, right? Yeah. Cool. Accept. All right, so now we have this awesome app, right? And how much does it cost for all this great service? It's actually free. So go download this app right now. It's really great. You can actually do all of this from any computer in your house with this link right here. You can go to web and press the server can be accessed by the web browser. So now I'm going to go to my web browser and I'm going to type in 192.168.1. So let's do that first. 192.168.1. And then I'm going to do the rest of the code, which is dot one of three. And then I have to type in the port number, which is 37218. I'm gonna be really impressed if this works. And look at that. It works. Now, I'm not quite sure why it's giving me these files, which were actually filmed on my webcam. But, yeah. I'm just trying to be careful here because I don't know what I have. yeah oh look right there so it's playing all of these files but what the important one is that these two are down here but what about that song the song that we put on the file either way the two videos that I wanted to put in this thing are right here so I could press it and then I could download it to my computer so I could actually stream these files to any computer in my house so that's really nice and I could change the name of my computer at any time. I could change it to Adam's computer. And I could turn off the server if I want to. And um, yeah, I could even change the port. I don't know why I'd want to do that though. Here's my internet IP. I don't know why. I don't know what I could do with that. But yeah, this is a really good app. But this video does not stop right here. I'm sure you know by the description of this video that we are giving away 10 copies of this software. Hold on. WinX DVD Ripper. I'm giving away 10 copies. So really quickly, this WinX DVD Ripper Platinum is an all-in-one DVD Ripper software capable of ripping DVDs and DVD ISOs. So if you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. But basically, you could take any DVD, put it in your computer, and then you can copy it with this program. And I'm giving away 10 of these programs right now. And that's because this amazing company came to me and gave me the opportunity to make this video and at first this is actually the first video I've done for another company on behalf of another company usually I just go around and pick an app out of a hat that I want to review I don't usually pick it out of a hat but you know I'm so happy that this company came to me and told me to review their software because this is such a new program and I never would have found this software if the company didn't come to me so I'm so happy I reviewed this product. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 and that's not just because they're giving me free stuff to give away. That's because this is really a great application. So, yeah. It also works on the Mac. I don't know why you would need another demonstration, but if you are on a Mac and you need to download the AirPlay thing. All you have to do is go to their website, airplayit.com, and then press the Mac download, and you're totally good to go. So, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, 
about this application or Winx DVD River Platinum, let me know down below. And um, it's not a raffle or anything like that for the 10 copies. The serial numbers are right down there, and all you have to do is copy it and download the program right here. So you're going to press download now for Windows, download now for Mac, and type in your serial, and you've got it. And these um, serial numbers usually go for $35 each, but because I love you guys so much, I'm giving it away. And um, that's pretty much all I have to say. As you can see here, this is the iPad version of AirPlay. It. So eventually, maybe by the time you're even watching this video, you're going to have an iPad version of AirPlay. It. So I said before that it's the same exact thing as the iPhone, but you can just make it bigger for the iPad. That's not going to be the case probably by the time you watch this video because they are hard at work on a good quality iPad version. And the very last comment that I'm going to make before I turn this video off is I'm going to say that you can actually stream your stuff anywhere. You don't have to do it just in your own house. If you want to stream it anywhere, you need to set up port forwarding. And I'm not really going to get into that because I think this is pretty much the most important feature. I think I've said everything that I need that I need to say. But if you go on their website, airplayit.com, you can figure out all this stuff by yourself. They actually have a nice support thing over here where you can learn how to use their program and you could even ask a question in their form. So thanks for watching. My name is Adam Luftig. I'm from Razor Rock Media and Enjoy the program, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.